Welcome to Burns and Sawyer's LED Lab. My name is Michael Rogers, and I'll be your host in this expedition into the new lighting age in LEDs. We're talking 50 to 60 companies within the last two years have begun manufacturing LEDs. And the purpose of this laboratory is to be able to compare apples to apples, product to product, and take a look at their brochures, take a look at the hype, and see whether or not it matches what the actual instrument will do. Now, today I'm gonna to be talking about this instrument. It's the Cineroid LM400. Now, it's small, but powerful. It's six inches by nine inches, but it has a third more power than the average one by one light panel. It also has a 92 CRI, quite high. This one has 76. I tested it just before we started this particular video. Now, this particular system has two, two dimmers on it. One controls the output, the other controls color temperature. So besides having a 92 CRI, it also is a bicolor. It also puts out one third more light than most all of the one by one systems. It has a 120 degree span. Most light panels have a 30 to 60 degree span. Now, this particular instrument itself also has a readout for each, the dimming and the color temperature. And it has 30 degree increments to alter and change and, and absolutely get the exact color temperature and the exact dimming capability that you want to keep and you can record it and repeat it. This instrument comes in a soft case, comes with a barn door, comes with a power adapter, comes with a heavy filter and a battery back capability. You can get it in V-mount or you can get it in gold. This particular system can be used anywhere a one by one light panel would have been used in the past. It is very versatile. It can be used as a key light, a fill light, and a backlight. So, if you took three of these, which are six by nine with about one inch in width, and you put them in a Pelican case, and you put three small stands in there, and batteries, and all the accessories, you could put it in a case that would fit in the overhead in an airline. Documentarians would be able to take this particular instrument, attach it to their cameras, and be able to hook it up any different direction because it has four quarter 20 outlets that you could put the hot shoe in and change to any particular configuration that you want to set your camera in. It's just a simple matter of changing the hot shoe. If you want to get more information on this particular system, make contact with us at our website, www.burnsandsawyer.com. I'm Michael Rogers and thanks for stopping by.